Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. We're gonna go by this. We're gonna go up here. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do famous celebrity, famous celebrity couples. So let me go ahead and make a quick adjustment here. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me um. There you go. That's better. So Beyonce and Jay Z. I I'll buy that. Mm -mm -mm. You really did not want to want to hear that, did you? <coughs> so. Yeah, Beyonce and Jay Z, the, but the problem with this is is that they have sort of a reputation, kind of like a like an unspoken reputation for being a, having a very open marriage. So anyway, Johnny Cash and June Cash, absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. Man, he loved her so much. Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. And Rita Wilson was in a weird movie. And it, but she was great in it. I'll have to remember what it was. David Bowie and Iman. Of course. Of course. David Bowie and Iman. Yeah, that is a love story. Yeah, married 25 years. Oprah Winfrey and Stedman Graham. Oh, really? So they're not married, but okay, all right. Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, good for them. Good for them. Um, Too bad, too bad uh, Ellen DeGeneres is a terrible person. In real life, she's a horrible, horrible person. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. That's definitely a great thing. I mean, they are such a great couple. Definitely. And they're not married. Oh. John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Okay, that's a love story. Kind of weird people. But, you know, sometimes weird people belong together. I'm a weird guy, and I don't, I'm looking for my weird. Michael J. Fox and Tracy Pollan. That's a great story. That's a great story. Well, they got married in 88? Oh my gosh. Okay. Good for them. Neil Patrick Harris and David Burtka. Okay, so th this is definitely like two guys that definitely work hard to make it work. Like, I mean, they could they can do any sort of projects that they want to do, and they do a, a lot of projects, but it's very obvious that like they have they have their system down. Like what, what many like... Um, entertainment couples will do is they will do um, one or two projects and then do home and the other uh, the other partner does one or two projects and then they come uh, go back and you know they they definitely do you know they don't they don't do their projects you know one of them one of them is the the artist breadwinner all the time they do okay you're gonna do you're gonna do a TV series but in your contract you're gonna be home by a certain time um, if you're gonna do a movie, you'll do a movie, and then, uh, and then next year is off the plate. You're spent. You're you're home, and then the uh, and then the other partner will go and do the the their project. So this is great. No, this is fantastic. Um, David and Victoria Beckham. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Complex couple. Very complex, very power, very much a power couple. Very much a power couple. Very much. Oh. Ash and Kutcher and Mila Kunis. This is one of those things I give it a couple more years. <laughs> the problem the problem is Ash and Kutcher. You know, um, poor guy is man child. Uh George Clooney and Amal Clooney. So here's an interesting thing. This is a dude who swore he'd never get married. 
and he's had you know and what didn't want kids didn't want kids and has been uh dating and has been engaged to beautiful women rich women powerful women and then this one woman just ah there you go Kristen Bell and Dak Shepard. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. I I genuinely hope this is a forever thing. I don't think it is. Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, no, this is this is a long, ongoing thing. Um, yeah, Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. Great, great story. Great story. Famous movie couples. Um, Ilsa and Rick. So here's a... Okay. So here's the thing. Um, so there was this thing about how um, Ingrid Bergman was like secretly in love with uh, Humphrey Bogart. Uh, and that wasn't, that wasn't true. Um, she was uh, 18... When she no nineteen, she was nineteen when she made this movie, and and I think she was either married or she was living with a famous Italian director, and she was kind of can- canoodling with uh, the other co-star in this movie, not Humphrey Bogart, um, and Humphrey Bogart was like forty-five in this movie, so there was like a thirty. 30- <laughs> Oh, not 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 thirty. Twenty. There's like a twenty-seven year age difference between the two of them. So, no. Uh, Ennis and Jack. Okay. So, uh, fun trivia. Fun trivia. Is these two guys didn't know each other uh, when they started making this movie, but um, but Heath Ledger has this ability to like you know make everybody like be his friend like he's like a like a really friendly guy i guess so so these two guys became really 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 close friends rose and jack um as far as love stories go this is a horrible love story i never bought rose and jack at all i was so disappointed i was so disappointed with this love story rose and jack really come on ah and on and Hand to God, hand to God, I think Rose let Jack sink. I think she kicked him off the 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 door, the floating door. She wanted him to 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 die. That's not romantic at all. Baby and Johnny. Is it a romantic story? Is it a romantic story? I don't know. Uh hmm, interesting. Interesting. Uh, wrong quote. Uh, Oliver and Jenny? No, terrible. Wesley and Buttercup, we will end th- with this. We will end with this. Uh, Wesley and Buttercup, the princess bride, of course. Of course it is. Nick and Nora, that is great. And what great costumes. What great costumes. Oh my gosh. Fantastic costumes. Um, but uh, but uh, yeah, of course. Great, 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 great. Princess Buttercup and Wesley. Dread Pir- Pirate Wesley. Dread Pirate Roberts. Of course it is. Great love story. Um, and so what else did I promise? Uh, what, else, what was the other topic? 